Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is our eighth day of our March micro minimizing challenge. So I hope you've been following along and clearing out some stuff from your house. Uh, today, we have quite a task, actually. Um, probably not everybody's going to be everybody's favorite thing to do, but it is so nice when this one is finished. Um, and that is we are going to take a little dive under our kitchen sink. Uh, this area I find frustrating to work with because of all the pipes to maneuver around and whatnot. So the solution I found in my home that works is to just have as little as possible under there, which I will talk about in a little bit more. Um, so hold off on buying the organizers and containers and that for that area. I know you can get the fancy shelving that works around the pipes and whatnot. Um, Hold off on that until after you've finished uh, clearing the area out and reducing what you have under there because you might find that you don't need to be spending that money. Uh, so we'll get to the point in a little bit of when you would consider uh, if you need to buy something. Uh, we tend to keep all kinds of things under the kitchen sink. Uh, um, you know, I mean, I remember growing up and that area was full and it had all the cleaners in it and it had all the stuff for dishwashing and it had the towel bars hanging off the off the cupboards and <clears throat> all kinds. Uh, so let's, uh, first of all, uh, to make this more comfortable, get yourself either a mat or a folded towel for your knees because you know, being crouched down on the floor like that is not the most comfortable position. So we're showing ourselves a little bit of self-care by protecting our knees there. So do that for yourself. <clears throat> and then um, you're going to start. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. I wanted to mention you're also going to take a before picture because this is one of those areas where it's nice to get that little endorphin hit later when you take your after picture and you can kind of see the uh the fruits of your labor and what it looked like before you started okay uh also uh if you keep your garbage under your sink <clears throat> take that out because it just makes the area a little more pleasant to work with if you're not you know working beside a garbage can right so take that out of the way and just set it to the side for the moment while you're getting started uh so take all the items out one by one from under the sink and you're going to sort them. Uh, you're going to ask yourself questions. Do I use this? When was the last time I used this? Does it have an expiry date? And is it past expiry? Is it time for it to go? And really important question too is, is this the proper home for this item? Uh, when my kids were little, I, or were born, I guess, when um, I moved all of our cleaners out from under the kitchen sink, and moved them to our laundry room so that they were up on a higher shelf, right? So a lot of you that have families and kids, you've probably already moved your cleaners out to somewhere um, where they can't be reached by the little people. Uh, so that was one big thing that kind of cleared out that space under my kitchen sink as well. So ask yourself for each thing you take out from under there, is this the proper home for it? Okay. If it's not the proper home, then take that item and move it to where it should be. If you're not sure where that should be, how you decide the proper home is you ask yourself, if I was looking for this item, where is the first place I would look? And whatever pops into your mind, that's the proper home because that's where you would naturally go to look for that item, okay? So move it to the proper home. Be very careful here not to get distracted by starting to clean the home for the other items okay just go and put the item in their proper home but come back and stay on task for your uh, kitchen sink project okay or under the sink project okay um when it's completely empty right and you'll have you know the, the items in the garbage remember those bottles are probably recyclable so depending on what you're pulling out if it's something that you can easily clean out you know then do that and put the bottles in the recycling instead um i'm not thinking that there's too many things under the kitchen sink that you would have to donate but i guess it depends what you keep under your kitchen sink everybody's individual so if you have items to donate you would have a pile for that as well okay once everything is cleaned out under there 
give it a wipe, right? Give it a clean in that cupboard, make it nice and clean for you. Uh, then when you're starting to put items back, you want to put the items that you use least often towards the back of the cupboard and then work your way forward with the items that you use most often towards the front of the cupboard where you have easiest access to them. Okay. Uh, this is the time once you can see what you're keeping and that you've decided is the proper home under the sink. This is when you would consider would some sort of container or tub or uh, shelving help you to be organized in this area? Um, one area thing I kind of think of is if you keep your cleaners under the sink, but they're more towards the back of the cupboard, putting them all into a tub that then you can easily just reach in and pull the whole tub forward is kind of a, a tip to keep you from having to crawl around and dig around under your sink. You can bring it forward, pull out what you need, and push it back almost just like a drawer, right? But use it as a, um, for your cleaners to make them easier to access. Uh, I will share with you that we keep now four things under our kitchen sink. We have a compost bucket, our garbage can, uh, dishwasher tabs and dish detergent or extra dish detergent I do keep one on the on the counter beside the sink and I have a spare under the counter and that's it right that's all we keep under there it's all right at the front all super easy to access and there's no more frustration with things getting caught on the pipes or behind the pipes or having to dig around the pipes okay so I would really encourage you to reduce what you keep under there just because it um, reduces the frustration. Um, after that, put a nice clean garbage can, garbage bag into your garbage can if you keep that under, under your sink so that everything's nice and fresh and clean. If your garbage can needs washing out, now is also the time to give that a quick clean. It only takes about five minutes or less, mm -hmm. right? Give that a quick clean. Um, and then make sure you take an after picture so that you can see the difference between from when you started uh, to when you finished. And that gives you that really nice endorphin hit when you can see for yourself that it wasn't the most fun job. I get today's not really the most fun job, uh, but it is one that you'll feel really good about when it's finished, okay? And that's about all I have for today. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can always reach out to me. Uh, you can DM me or you can go to my website and send me an email. I'm more than happy to chat with you at any time about any of the things that we are talking about this month. Okay, have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow.